Hi everybody, here's the results of the last glaze firing. This was a test to see if I liked Chino over matte black. I think it's really, really striking. So there's a keeper. And my last firing, I had used some kind of crocodile croc crawling green to make a design and then dipped the pot in, sh in um, fog. So I tried to do it again, only this time I used a chrome green underneath the fog. In both cases, it was done on the speckled brown stoneware. I uh, got myself a keeper. I think any decoration would come out just beautiful under fog on speckled brown stoneware. And then this is fog on Little Loafer's white stoneware. I'm very happy with the colors that I'm getting with fog. It's just a great glaze. Highly recommend it. Then another experiment was to put iron red at the top of this little bud vase and then dip the entire bud vase in frosted turquoise and the um, iron red caused a drip of about twice as far as the glaze was put on, if that makes sense. So if I glazed it to about here with the iron red, see what I mean? I got about that much of a pull. So if I glazed it to here, would it pull to there? You know, that's the question. But iron red under anything really seems to come out beautiful. I can't even describe the colors in here. Amber, dark blue, sort of a reddish brown. Just really nice. And it's kind of nice to have the contrast of the shiny against the frosted turquoise. So, so again, that was iron red first on the rim and then frosted turquoise on the entire pot. A lot of repeat wear. These are my spoon rests. couple of trinket keepers. These trinket keepers have shells on them as a little accent. couple of sets of nestling bowls. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to tie them up with some nice sort of hemp-like string and then put a little tag on them that says um, nestling bowl set of three and then the price will be on the back. My platter just came out beautiful. I'm really happy with it. The downside with a platter is you know it, it takes quite a bit of clay and um, you always run the risk of an s crack. And I don't know with the markup that I need to put on it in the store if it would be worth making them. But I suppose I could make a few and sell them at the beach or something. That would be profitable. But it's, um, it's a big piece to make for what I'm doing. My eagle, um, <laughs> my eagle on a mug. I think it looks like an eagle. Uh, the white didn't come out, though. It was supposed to have white on the head and white on the tail feathers and a few little bits of white on the main feathers and some of the green dripped down across his neck and into his feathers. But I mean it still kind of looks like an eagle. It's not awful. <laughs> and then my burgundy square, you know, I should have, should have, should have done what I was thinking which was to wax raw clay around the edge of the square just to give the, the spring green a little wiggle room and I didn't. So it doesn't really look like a square. And my husband, just now he said, why didn't you just cut out a square and put it on like you did the eagle? And I thought, oh, that would have done it. So anyway, it was a fun attempt, and I think it will be a good idea for him. I just have to do it again. So this will be my burgundy square <laughs> beer mug, I guess. 
And last but not least, this pot is spectacular. Oh, you can see me. This is the pot where I did iron red probably a third of the way down the pot and then dipped the entire pot in spring green. And this is on Little Loafer's Clay. Now, I've tried a lot of combinations with this. I've tried it on speckled brown stoneware. I've tried dipping it entirely in iron, iron red. I've, you know, I've tried a lot of different ways to see how I can make this work without having it drip all over the table. And it worked. I can't describe how beautiful it is. So it's on Little Loafer's White. The green didn't go too far. The transition from the iron red to the green is indescribable. Get my t-shirt out of there. I'm very happy with that pot. My orange shirt is taking away from its beauty.